tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a tunnel effect on top of this design here. Now, I created this in an earlier video, and I'll put a link to that. First thing to show you are these layers. They're all triangles. They're all shape layers. So now, I'm just going to go over here to the direct selection tool, and I want to actually move this center. So I want the center to be there. I'm using the snap, uh, snap, snap two and guides. Just make that certain that's on. And to actually create these guides, I actually use the new guide layout. Right now, just select those just by just going over all those points and just dragging over to that center point. Right now it's in the center. Just go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to use a shape and a fill. Now I'm going to change the fill later. I'm just going to do that afterwards because I don't want to change the color of all those uh, designs. So I'm just going to just drag that over there. And there you've got that design. Now I'm just going to go over here to the fill. And I'm going to set that to one of the colors that I'm not using. So just a light pastel blue. OK, next thing to do, you can actually, as it's a layer, you can just go over here to the blending mode. And I'm just going to go for difference. Okay, you can see a that and I'm going to do the same again and difference do the same again and again they're all snapping nicely to that and go to normal and then difference again and again final one and just go to difference now once you've actually done that you've actually created that design you can now, what you can do, is just going to flatten that, or I don't have to, I could actually just go to Edit and Define Pattern, click OK, and I'm just going to go to another document, and instead of using that one, I'm just going to double click there, go down there, and you can see the design I've just created. So it creates a nice sort of tunnel effect. Just go in into the center. Now, of course, you can. what you can do then, you can actually just go back to that original design, and you can add say layer and new adjustment layer and photo filter click OK and now you've got properties you can modify the properties and if you haven't got the properties there of course window and properties or maybe modify it to a cooling filter and so on and so on and of course the same thing you can actually define as a pattern Of course, once you flatten it that time. So edit and define pattern. Click OK. Go over to the again over here. Double click on there and select that pattern. And you can do much the same again and again and again. But another option, of course, you could like I say it's flattened now. You can of course use adjustments here, just use hue and saturation and modify it. Click OK. Anyway, 